Olivia here. It's Tuesday and Olivia and I have arrived so at <laughs> Soho Farmhouse. It's so bright! I know, it's wow. such a nice day. I'm blinded by the sun. We're here for an overnight stay. We have got a spa session booked for an hour's time. Mm -hmm. So that'll be really nice. Then we're just going to have a walk around. Never been here before. So I will take you guys along with me. It's super cold, but it's so sunny, which I think will be really nice when we're in the mm -hmm. hot tub and go to the spa. So I will take you along with me. We've just got to the lake and we're going to go into our hot tub which is outside. They also have really cool infrared saunas, let me show you. Stunning. We're in our hot tub. It's so steamy and hot. And we're going to order a glass of champagne because why not treat ourselves on our little staycation? We're going to do the clay face masks. Cheers! Kind of looks like peanut butter. Okay. Oh wow, dude, it smells amazing. You've got it all over your face. Yeah, all over my face. Oh, it's tingling. The little duckies, they're so cute. Such a bright day. I somehow managed to film this part in slow-mo, so all my audio erased, but this was the room that we stayed at, at Soho Farmhouse. There's Liv taking some content. Then we go into the bedroom and it was so cosy. It was just the perfect amount of space for the time we were staying there and the bed was absolutely huge. It's supposed to be big enough for two people, but I definitely think you could fit three people in this bed. The room was also really well equipped. So here we have an espresso coffee machine with complimentary cookies, sugar, tea. There's also a drinks area, a huge TV, and then there's a wardrobe either side of the room. And this one has a safe inside. And then we have a mirror and we also have the Soho Home dressing gowns. I have one of these at home and they are so comfortable. It's the softest, comfiest thing ever. There's also lots of different toiletries just in case you forgot anything at home like toothpaste, toothbrush, etc. All of the rooms are equipped with cow shed products as well. So they have shampoo, conditioner, body wash everything that you'll need so you don't need to bring too many toiletries with you when you come to stay. We both brought our matching Katie Loxton weekend bags. They're such an ideal size for this day. We are just getting ready to go for dinner. We've had such a lovely day. The spa, I would say it's definitely up there with the nicest spas that I've been to just because it's so unique because the spa is outside and there's only, I think, four hot tubs, so there's a limited amount of people that can be there, so it just feels very zen. And the fact it was so cold outside, but then we were so hot in the hot tubs, was just amazing. It really blew my mind. So we came back to the room and got our room key after we had some yummy lunch. And then we watched Lion King and I just fell asleep on the sofa. I think I've just been so zen from the spa and the day in general. I'm feeling really relaxed, um, which is really nice. It's just nice to get out of London sometimes and have a little bit of a break. 
now we're going for dinner. We're going to Penyan, which is a Japanese restaurant where they have um, sushi and lots of different sharing dishes. So that should be really lovely. Come show your dress, Liv. Mm -hmm. We are both wearing long midi dresses. We are. We didn't really plan it and we're both wearing sock boots. I'm on both wearing. Yeah, we're both wearing <laughs> really Monica Vinder necklaces. necklaces. Mine's actually Missima. Oh, yours is Missima. Mm. Wow, they look really similar. Yeah, I know. They are. But it was really trendy. nice to just dress up for my date with Liv. I know. <laughs> Let's go. Can't wait Let's for dinner. We've just come back from dinner. It was really delicious. We had sushi, noodles, we had beef tataki, we had Baba. duck bao buns, which were so nice. Really good. I just couldn't take, I think I may have taken a little video. But I couldn't take much because they really say at dinner, no pictures um, and not to take any calls and have your phones out. So I couldn't really take my phone out. They are quite mindful of that. But we're just going to take our makeup off and then we're going to watch a film and we have some minstrels to snack on. And we have matching PJs. These are from H&M. They're super comfy. First time I'm wearing them, but I do have a similar pair from H&M like this, which are really comfy. And Liv has some too, so we're matching for our sleepover. And we're just going to try and get, not an early night, but we're going to go to bed soon after watching a film. And then we've got breakfast in the morning, and we're going to have a look around, and hopefully go to Dalesford Farm as well, to check that out. Never been before, so will be interesting. Looks really, quaint and countryside vibes and might be able to pick up some croissants you know how in farm shops they do frozen. the frozen ones that you can take home to cook oh, I delicious. love doing that and having some of those in the freezer so hopefully we can do a bit of that good night wow so misty and frosty wow that breeze is so cold Oh Liv, we can't use the bikes because they're so frosty. It's Wednesday, 8.30 and we are up and have done our makeup, about to get changed and go for breakfast. And we've woken up and it's so beautiful outside. It's really misty and frosty. We were thinking this morning, it's so cold and now I completely understand why. Let me show you guys going to get a nice coffee and breakfast have a little walk around chill this morning we need to check out at 12 and then we're going to head to Dalesford farm and have a little mooch around there too look how cute so these are called the piglets and these are the smallest rooms at Soho farmhouse you can't even see the piglet in the distance because of the fog and the mist wow this is our breakfast. I've got smoked salmon, scrambled eggs and sourdough and Liv's got a deconstructed breakfast. Delish! Liv, you look so pretty. I don't pay her guys, don't worry. <laughs> it's a really lovely sunny day now. It's been such a nice trip. I feel it's so sunny. zen. This is a sign to go on a staycation with your bestie and have a little relax and chill. Wow, it's so sunny. sunny. We have just arrived at Dalesford Organic. Haven't been here before. I think I've mentioned that three times. So <laughs> I'm quite excited. Might get some, pick up some goodies for Ryan since he didn't come on our girls trip we can get him some croissants yeah let's go have a look around it's really sunny mm. blue skies absolutely gorgeous but it's also really cold but i think that's really nice i'm really appreciating the winter sun in february it's so warm we've just got to dalesford farm and look at this cute setup this is the wine still we're just looking for the cafe and the shop so we can pick up some 
goods. Look at all the goodies. They have salted caramel brownie tray and so many good pastries. The pastries look absolutely gorgeous. Wow, look at that. Almond croissant. Absolutely stunning. To get a little treat for Ryan. They've got incredible brownies and the chocolate ganache donuts. Decisions, decisions. So many nice treats. Oh, they have, oh wow, look at that peach and raspberry cake. That's really nice. Have I picked the wrong seat? You're in the sun. Just got a little hot chalk and picked up a brownie for Ryan to take home. It's so cute here. They do also have takeaway pizza, which looks really nice. There's quite Does a few people a here. And there's a few people in there that have got pizza. Oh, they've got a wood fire oven. It's really pretty in here. Let me show you. It's so quaint. Liv, I just love your coat. Oh my God, I love her. The totem beauty. An investment piece, but she was so worth it. Mm. Hello, it's Wednesday and it's Wednesday, it is Wednesday, and I have a busy day in London. Um, lots of things going on, so I'm going to take you with me. I had my laser appointment this morning, and I'm now at And Other Stories on Regent Street to have a look around and have a browse for a PR appointment. I will show you what they have in. They have lots of gorgeous spring pieces, lots of nautical coming through, trench coats. They also have stripes and the lovely blue that we see at springtime. So I will show you what they have and try on a few things for you as well. They had several trench coats in store and I like the colour of this stone trench coat. This is how they styled it on the mannequin. Also in store they had so much colour, purple, orange, patterns and prints. I'm not too much of a colour girl but I do like this light blue shade, more earthy, neutral types of colour. Then they had this gorgeous trench coat. I really like this one and I picked this one up to try on. Love these cargoes as well. I'm here for the cargo trend. They look so comfortable. They also had a lot of neon. Not too sure how I feel about that. Although I loved the pink neon heels. I picked up a few things to try on. Really like the styling of this mannequin with the jeans, the shirt and the blazer. Can't go wrong with a striped top. In the changing rooms now, and I said it once and I will say it again. The lighting in the end of the stories dressing rooms is so good. Sometimes I find when you go to dressing rooms, it's really dark, you can't really see the outfit, but they've done a good job in here. It's mirrors all the way around and they have these lights which gives a dressing room lit up effect so you can really see the clothes in all their glory. Got a few things as you can see there and I will talk through them, try them on and see how we go, see how we feel, if we want to take them home or not. So this is the knitted vest top that I picked up. I really love this black lining detail. I think it makes it look really expensive. It looks great with these wide leg pants. This one is definitely a yes from me. I think it's an elevated vest piece for spring and beyond and I'd wear this a smart casual but I feel that I can also dress it up for the evening maybe with a pair of leather trousers, an oversized blazer or a biker jacket. I also really enjoy the back. It has a racer back detail, which again, I just think is really flattering because it shows the shoulder, shows the neckline. 10 out of 10 for me, love it. Then we also have this collared t-shirt. It's in a rib knit, which feels again, like really good quality and other stories 
do quality pieces really well. I do like it, I'm just not sure it's me. We'll see. I do think it fits nice. I'm just not sure if with my body type it makes me look quite shortened. I'm not sure. Next up we have this cute cream ikru cardigan and I have to say I really like it. I think it's really me. Rather than wearing it with tailored trousers I'd like to wear it with blue jeans just to make it feel more casual and you could also wear it with a vest and open. I'm thinking a striped nautical vibe vest. It feels really warm but I think sometimes in spring, in the UK anyway, it's really cold. Not I think, it is really cold still in spring so you do need to have those layers and I think this would be the perfect piece. I do really like this and I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe either. This would probably look quite cute with a maxi skirt as well, maybe a satin maxi skirt and a little vest, a racer back vest. I'm, I'm a fan. And just for size reference, this is the size 32 extra small and the two previous tops I tried on were also 32 extra small. I know I said I really liked the other cream cardigan, but this is so cute. It has these ruffle sleeves, which is a really lovely detail. And then it has this tie detail, which is super cute. It's less formal, so I think this would be great for um, dinner with friends, maybe when it's a little bit warmer in spring with jeans, or date night vibes as well. This would be really cute with leather trousers or maybe high-waisted jeans. I'm totally here for this one. I think I might even prefer it to the previous. But again, they are both quite different. This one I think you're less likely to wear open with a vest top because it has the strings and the strings would hang, whereas the other cardigan you'd wear open. It's quite a thin material as well. It is a knit, but it is thinner. So this would be a perfect piece for spring. This one is 100% organic cotton. So if any of you suffer with sensitive skin, cotton often is a great one to go for. And this is 100%. What do we think about the ruffles? I think this is quite fun. Definitely one for when we get a little bit more closer to spring. Really love this blue colour for spring or this blue colour striped. There's a lot going on with this top. It's definitely a statement piece. Great for a date night or maybe even a girl's brunch, friend's brunch, going out for a nice lunch. I do really like it. I'm just trying to think about how many times would I wear it? Would it sort of be one of those pieces that you only pick out ever so often? And I am trying to get better basics and less sort of one or two time only pieces. Then we have the wool high neck knit. It's a soft thin material so I think this would be great for spring. Let's ignore the bra because this is not the right bra for this top but I'd really like to take this one home with me because I feel like I don't have one like this and I have a couple of jackets that would look really nice with a white or cream turtleneck and I do have my trusty Arquette black turtleneck that I wear all the time so this is definitely a piece that I'm missing in my wardrobe just a good staple to have. Now on to the trench coats I picked up two to try on because they had honestly about four or five different styles of trench coats. These two were my favourite. I love that it has this oversized style and these big lapels and the big collar. I think that makes it feel really luxe and more expensive. Also then got this cuff detail which again a lovely detail to have. I think it makes it feel more expensive and elevated. This is a great great trench. I'm only five foot three and it's not ridiculously long. Sometimes I find that trench coats can really drown me. This is the smaller size, the 32. This probably would be the size that I would go for. And I think this is a great trench 
to have. You only need one trench in your wardrobe that you can wear for multiple uses, like date night, but then going to the office or casual outings on the weekend with friends as well. This is the lighter stone shade trench coat. I do overall like the fit. It is slightly longer. The only thing I would say is that it's a material where it's quite noisy. I don't know if you, you can hear that. Um, it definitely doesn't feel as luxe as this one. And I think that probably shows by the price tag is this one is 165. Whereas this one that I'm wearing, I think is closer to the £100 mark. It is still a great trench coat and the stone color would go really nice with denim. Just personally, I don't love this one as much as I like the slightly darker tan shade. I really enjoy the material on this one. It's quite windy, so my hair is probably looking a little bit crazy. Such a sunny, gorgeous day in London. And other stories was successful. I ended up getting the trench coat that felt really luxe, the slightly darker tan one. I think it will be a great staple piece for spring and I was looking for a new trench coat that fit the criteria of looking expensive, an oversized fit, and one that I can wear for every day, but also dress up in the evening. I'm now just going for a meeting with my management team to talk about strategy and things for the future and for the rest of the year so that should be really interesting and i'm looking forward to it now i'm just at one rebel you can see it in the background going to a reformer class with Purdy. if you guys haven't tried out their reformer pilates I totally recommend. It's such a fun exercise. I felt like I fell out of love with exercise and high intensity workouts. But if you're looking for something a bit different, similar to Pilates and yoga, but with more movement, then I totally recommend Reformer Pilates, especially at One Rebel because they play music and they have flashing lights and you do the moves in tune to the music. So it feels like you're in a like nightclub, not in a bad way, in a good way. How to bounce back about two to three times. Dealing with your ass, got me walking over time. Got me some slack, I've been losing my mind. No, I'm not fine, you've been killing my fight. Got me down.